Hey guys, coming to you from my little jam room, like always. Fun, fun video today. This is a special, um, special occasion. I've got a large box right there. And we're, we're going to open it. We're going to unbox it. I've never done an unboxing before. Um, but this seemed like one that I needed to, to film. I think you will enjoy it. So I'm going to open it up. Um, something pretty cool, I think. So large box, obviously. Wait a little bit. Seems to be packed well. Lots of craft paper there. All right. So, give you a peek in the box. You see that little thing, the taped, taped part. I'm gonna take that off very carefully. Because I don't want to tear it. And then I'll show you what it is. Sorry, I'm showing you my uh, my backside there. Alright, so we got it out. We're going to open it up. This says, oh, just kidding, so close. All right. Mike Campbell, I haven't even read it. This document certifies that this instrument was owned by Mike Campbell. It is a Magnetone Custom M10. Uh, signed by Mike Campbell himself. So, basically, I bought one of Mike Campbell's amps <laughs> off of Reverb yesterday. It was totally sporadic, totally, uh, let me cut the air off because you probably hear it, it'll be loud. Totally random, it was actually my wife who I think wins Best Wife of the Year Award forever for this. She just randomly messaged me and she's like, did you know Mike Campbell? By the way, if you guys don't know, I'm sure you do if you're watching this. I'm a huge Tom Petty um and Mike Campbell fan. I love Tom Petty. I love Mike Campbell. One of my favorite guitar players. So anyway, my wife messages me. She says, hey, did you know Mike Campbell's selling stuff on Reverb? I said, of course I did, but I didn't even look because, you know, I just figured most of it would be really expensive. Um, yeah, and just thought, you know, I'm, I'm not even going to tempt myself. Well, she said, here's three things I'm thinking of buying you. Tell me which one you want or I'm going to buy one of them randomly now, which was awesome. Um... And I said, hey, let's buy this Magnetone. Because <laughs> I love Magnetones. Um, that's been sort of my favorite, my, my amp lately. Um, you know, and this is this is a sort of a weird kind of cool old model. I'm not really sure if this is the M10A or the M10. Uh, one has an 8-inch speaker and a 3-inch tweeter. One, I think, has just a 12-inch uh, speaker. I don't really care. Um, I'm going to play it. I'm going to use it. But I just think it's cool that it belonged to Mike Campbell. And I like to have dreams and imagine that maybe it was on stage with, with Tom at one point. Probably not. But who knows? So let's pull it out and see what it looks like. Uh, let's see if I can figure out where the top is. Oh, I think I found it. There it is. All right, here we go. Pulling it out. Covered in bubble wrap. I'm going to stuff all this back in the box. My jam room is very tiny, so <laughs> it's not a lot of room. It's really a jam building. Um, so I'm going to throw this out on the porch of my jam building. 
Guitar strings. Now we got a little room and we can, we can do this for real. All right. So pulling off the bubble wrap. It's a fairly decent size old amp. I think it has stereo. This is in stereo, rather, which is cool because my current twilighter is not. Uh, and I also think that this is one of the the first sort of. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in this. I think this is one of the first sort of vibrato models or, or amps to have that vibrato. It's got the the cool old magnetone vibrato thing that it does. I will say, uh, I think it, you know, it's packed by Chicago Music Exchange, I do believe. At least that's what it says on the package. And it appears they did a very good job. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll have bubble wrap for ages. So here we go, here's the power cable. Obviously not original. Magneton. We'll give it a little. Ten. Got something kind of scratched in right there. I have no idea. Here's the back of it. And it is supposed to be in okay working order. So let's wouldn't, wouldn't be a great unboxing if we didn't plug it in. To sort of see what it sounds like. So let's do it. Hopefully it does not blow up or something. That would be horrible. What's crazy about this is I was sort of, um, I was getting ready to order another magnetone anyways. Well, not order one, buy one, I suppose. Um, but I was going to sell some things. I have some, in fact, if you're, anybody's interested in my, I think I'm going to keep my Super Comet. If you're interested in my Royal Reverb, I'm considering parting with it. Um, because I don't use it much with my Twilighter. Um, even though it's super cool. And it's the one that's modded. It's got the mid control. Um, so for right now, it's on reverb. Um, if you want it, get it down because I, I may decide to, to pull it off. I had the comment up there and pulled it off. I may just keep them all. But I, I don't know. But anyways, let's check out this Magnetone M10. Wearing my Magnetone hat, by the way. Um, cool new cable. I got it Nam. Runway audio. Check those guys out, they're fantastic. All right. We're gonna go into channel one, I guess. Ooh, it was dimed. I'm gonna leave it pretty much set how it was. Maybe that's how Mr. Campbell was playing it, except he had it on the tone boost. There's a mellow mode, a tone boost mode, um, and a uh, bright. I'm gonna go from 
tone boost to mellow because tone boost sounds like it, you know the videos i've watched it almost sounds like a cocked wah kind of like super bright so we're gonna try to not do that um uh, i don't know where the on button is in this thing so oh maybe there yeah. How do you turn it on? I don't know. It's a good question. Ah, I see it. That's cool. So a little rotary knob to come on. I don't know, I can't read that part. So we'll just see what happens. That's awesome. <laughs> and with the pedal board stuff but man my i just my wife is awesome i cannot believe she let me buy this really bought it for me while while i was at work at the guitar shop um god it's just just fantastic um it's just cool so i've never owned i mean i've owned some old fender heads but that's about it i've never owned anything really cool especially nothing that belonged to a hero of mine so man i'm just it's just yeah fantastic so at a loss at the moment. Super pumped. Hopefully you guys think that's cool. Let me know what you think in the comments. I cannot wait to do some recording with this thing. And again, I, things I love, I like to play. I'm tempted to take this thing out. Maybe not to every little dive bar I play in, but big stages where I don't have to worry about anybody, you know, messing with it. I'm probably going to play this thing live. Um, so anyways, Mike Campbell's Magnetone, Vintage Magnetone M10. I think it's like, 63, 64, I'm not sure. I need to look it up from, from the serial number. I think they only made these from like mid-63 through, I think 65, could be wrong. Um, I need to look that up. But I'll, I'll do some research, check it out, find it out. Again, vintage magnetone, the vibrato. Sounds great. The reverb sounds great. 
I just couldn't be more happy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with my, my slow, clumsy unboxing. I'll see you guys next time.